Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Missy and I am so thrilled that you are here with me today. We have a Bibles for Missions haul, uh, which is a thrift store, and we also have a Dollarama haul, and I put them together in one video for you. Um, so let's get to and I'll show you what I bought. So the first thing I got cost me a dollar, and it's just this cute pencil case. It's absolutely adorable. I love the design. I love the color, and uh, I think it's made by, let's see, let's open it up. Modella, and uh, it doesn't look like it's even been used. Um, this would be great. You know, I have a lot of pencils and pens over there I could put in here, or I could also put some makeup in here and throw it in my bag if I'm going away for the weekend or something like that. But a dollar, yes, we'll take that. The next thing my daughter actually found for me, um, I shoot all my videos with a GoPro 8, and it's very, very tiny. It's a very tiny camera. So she found this little bag for me and it was $2 and it's just, I can put it on like a crossbody, and uh, yeah, it has a nice little pouch there, it has some uh, extra little pouches in the back and in the front for my wires and uh, this is much nicer than just holding it in my hand when we go for a, a ride in the car. Um, I'll feel much safer using this. So $2, that's a good bargain. The next thing I got was two dollars and I just thought this was so pretty. It's just a nice little bracelet in gold and a nice little flower pattern on it and uh, it's just a clasp which I like because you know I just find that they're much easier to put on. So yeah I really think that is special and like I said two dollars. Not bad. The next thing I got I watch a lady on YouTube and um, she loves chicken so I'm going to send her a little care package of things that I found but I found this cute little whisk. Uh, I took the price off because I have washed it up but it was $2. Uh, it looks a little old fashioned. I don't know if it is but I thought that was really really cute so I'm going to send that off to her. Hopefully she likes that. The next thing I got I haven't even opened these yet. Let me open them. But it cost me three dollars, and uh, they're just little. They're so cute. They're red rose, and they're little teapots. Aren't they just adorable? They all say red rose on them. That's the teddy bear, and then there's a little duck. So cute. And then this one's a little house. I can remember my mom having a yard sale back in the day and there was always someone coming along to see if we had red rose figurines. Um, there's another one and it's a girl. And uh, they're just so adorable. And this is a little drum or a teapot that looks like a drum. I thought that was so cute. And one more. And uh, again, I think it's like a little, what is this? I think it's like a little house um, has a little teapot on top but that one's really cute also you know for uh, what did I pay for it three dollars so cute probably we resell those or find a place in the kitchen for those so the next thing I got at Bibles for Missions cost me three dollars and it's just a nighty but I thought this was really cute you know nice and and uh, flowy for the summertime and uh, I love the pattern. This animal print pattern is so nice. Adjustable straps, you know, $3, it's a good find. And the next thing I found, I've been in search for a pink button up sweater, almost like a bubblegum pink color. And um, well, close enough, <laughs> um, $4 this cost me. And uh, Massimo is the maker of this. And it's just a nice, button down sweater. I thought this was really cute and uh, I had to have that because I've been looking a long time for a pink sweater and uh, I'll try these things on for you. The next sweater I got, um, sometimes I just like something to put over my shoulders uh, if I get cool. This one was seven dollars and it is made by Impress and it has a price tag of forty dollars on it but I 
doubt that anyone would pay $40 for a small little sweater. Um, but it's probably one of the stores that, you know, puts um, their prices up, but actually has really good sales within the store. So this cost me $7 and I thought this was really cute. It's got a nice little pattern. Yeah, really nice and light for those nice summer nights. And uh, yeah, so we'll try that on too. The last thing I got at the thrift store at Bibles for Missions is something I have been looking for for years. I just haven't seen one that I like or they're kind of like ripped or whatever at the secondhand stores. And they cost a fortune to buy new. So for $8, if I can hold on to this. <laughs> so $8 it cost me and it's a couch cover. And our couch is so big that it's hard to find something to fit it. But this pattern, let me just get a good shot here. This is a beautiful pattern in like a cream color. It's very stretchy. Um, I have taken a video of it on the couch, but um, I won't show you, uh, show me putting it on because one of our birds is very scared of any kind of materials, towels, anything like that. So I have to do it when she's sleeping so she doesn't see. But um, I thought this was a great deal because this is a higher end one. I can tell by the feel of it. And uh, like I said, it's just gorgeous. They had some for, um, chairs and love seats as well but um i thought this would probably be the only one that would fit you know our couch um our love seat is quite long i wasn't sure if um, the one to match this would fit but um for eight dollars these go from anywhere anywhere from uh seventy dollars and well over a hundred dollars so i'm really glad that i found this and it fits the whole couch it goes underneath the back it goes underneath the front and both sides and it is a great fit love that so I'm gonna go and try those um, sweaters on and the nightgown and I will be right back sweater that I paid seven dollars for and I have it over my lovely dress that I bought at a yard sale for three dollars my favorite dress and um, it's just a nice light sweater um, short sleeve and it just goes really nice with this dress or you know even with jeans something like that um, yeah I'm really glad that I bought this so here is the pink sweater. I have it completely done up right now, but it does come all the way undone, so it could be more like a cardigan, but I like it done up. I've been looking for something like this forever, and I'm really glad that I found this one. So here is the nightie that I bought, and it's so comfortable. Um, it's going to be nice for the summer nights. Um, very, very cool, and uh, yeah, I really like this. It's so cute. Okay, so let's get into what I got at Dollarama. I really did not need anything at Dollarama. I was just taking my daughter because she needed a few things. But you know how that goes when you go into Dollarama. You can't really leave without something. So the first thing I bought, I bought six of them actually. And um, they're just this little fence. And I thought it'd be nice around the flower garden. Like I said, $1.25. They do join together. Um... So yeah, I mean, uh, we had bunnies last year that like to chew our flowers, so hopefully if we put this up, they might not. Um, but, you know, it's worth a try. They're only $1.25. Um, they did have lots of fences there. This was the lower end at $1.25, and they went up to $4. Really nice fences there. The next thing was a necessity. I needed toothpaste. So, you know, you can't beat the prices at Dollarama. I got Optic White for $2. Um, you know, you might get a good sale on at Walmart or Shoppers, but you know, um, every day, all day, it's going to be $2 at Dollarama, and that's a good deal. And then the other thing I got was some Epsom salts. I usually buy the bigger bag, but I was at the dollar store, so I thought I'll just pick them up there. But $1.25, not bad. And uh, this will last me probably two baths, but um, it's just the original. But I thought I'd pick that up since I was there. 
The next thing I got are um, blueberry vanilla bath bombs, and they were $1.25, really good price. My daughter swears by these, and she said, Mom, you have to try them. So she bought four packages. I bought one just to try it. So we will try that out, but I figured for $1.25. They sound interesting, blueberry and vanilla. So we'll give those a try. The next thing I got for my bath was this powder bath soak. I love this. There's no price on it. Oh yeah, there is. I didn't see that before. $2.50 and um, it is fantastic. It's sort of like a bath bomb, but you just sprinkle it in your bath and it turns the water, you know, whatever color is in here. This will last me probably three baths for, for two something. Perfect. I got to bring that home. The next thing I got were these cute little clothes pins. There was 50 of them in a package for $1.25. And they are um, so cute. I'm probably going to get a string and put these clothespins on them and then some nice little notes and photographs I'll hang from it. But they're really cute. They do work. They do open. They come in all these different colors. Absolutely cute, cute, cute. Um, and I'm going to start doing other crafts as well. I used to do crafts. So I'm just trying to get my inventory up and the dollar store is perfect for that. Um, the next thing I got, I'm going to be sending some gifts out soon. So I got some craft paper bags for $2 and I thought the color was just so nice and the little polka dots so cute. So, you know, for $2, perfect. I will bring those home. The next thing I got, um, I needed a flashlight for my nightstand and when we lose the power here, it's nice just to have something close by and they had pink. I usually see them in black, but they had nice summer colors there. So I picked one up. This was $4. And I'm not going to turn it on because I do not want to blind you. The next thing I got was for outside. I thought these were really cute. Um, I do not see a price on these, but I know I paid $1.25 for them. I got six of them. And they're solar um, light bulbs that go outside. They have a little clothespin here. Or you can hang them on a string or a nail or just in the tree, but I thought they were really cute. And if I really like them, I'm gonna go back and buy some more. The next thing I got, I was quite shocked to find these at the dollar store. And I got 20 bamboo straws with a cleaner for $4. I was shocked because I have seen these in other stores and they're way more than $4. But yeah, they're really sturdy, they're nice. Um, I will take that deal all day long, that's for sure. But yeah, $4, 20 straws, perfect. The last thing I got, I have seen at Michael's and it's, um, you know, a bit more high end, this paper there, and it's beautiful, but I will not pay the price for it. Um, so my daughter told me they had something like it at the dollar store and I paid $4 for this and it's got all of these um, designs inside and there's 24 sheets and they're just really pretty I mean you know I can do crafts with them I can wrap presents in them really nice paper I love this so much just really nice different patterns this is my favorite one of course because it's pink um, yeah but you know if you're um, wanting that paper from Michaels, um, just try at the dollar store. Um, I, they had different patterns there. I just thought this was a good bargain for $4. So that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and hit the like button. Until next time, bye for now.